Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play. Last time we had a live episode, and we are back now with the standard videos, and we've got some announcements about what the next few videos are going to be, so check out them at the end of this video. But for now, let's carry on with what we're doing. First things first, priority number one, make sure Hellishville, the, the city we are growing, is getting what it needs. Well, passengers are at 99% and we are delivering roughly three or four times the amount of passengers than we need to. Uh, mail is at 99%, however, we're only really just delivering over our targets, about 59-60%. Um, 50, not percent units um, delivering 80 so not too good first things first we're going to sort out the mail and we're going to fix the mail the same way we fix the passengers we're going to go into one of the cities and we're going to add some mail trucks so first things first uh, let's turn transparency options with control and X and turn off buildings because we're going to be working in the cities makes it easier Let's unpause the game and get some lorry stations. Now, let's just pause it a second because I want to have a good think about this because I don't want my road vehicles, my um, buses, and my lorries to be stacking up against the same station. What I could do is stick it down here, right next to the bu bus station, but I don't want them getting in each other's way. So we're going to spread station it a little bit and put it there. Now, we've talked a little bit about spread stations in the past, and I do have a tutorial about them as well. I've noticed some of you guys in the comments and on the live stream did mention it too. What I'm following for my rules of spread station is that I will use a spread station if I need to for any other purpose other than expanding the catchment area, this purple area around the white little station square that you can see on the screen there. Now, you do get a bit of expansion if you use a spread station that's not, well, you, you just do. Um, but if, I, if I'm doing it for any other purpose, I'm allowing myself to do it. I'm not allowing myself to do a spread station solely for making a catchment area bigger. So what we're going to do is uh, to enable our trucks to come in here. And I'm actually going to move the bus station as well. Uh, but the truck station I'm going to put here so that they come in, turn around and then go back at the truck station so we've got the correct orientation let's unpause the game and pop it in actually I can get that right up against the train station just like that let's do the bus station while we're at it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the bus station to the station and I shouldn't need to hold control for that and then I'm going to use remove and get rid of this one that will allow the buses to come in here unload and go out again um, it might not be the best way of doing it because there's bad queuing, but we're going to upgrade it later. Now, for actually collecting the mail from the middle of town, I'm going to put something up here, I think. Yeah, they'll cross over on the crossroads. Um, is that a good place? Well, let's put it, let's put it there anyway. Yeah, yeah, that works for me. Um, a brand new, uh, lorry sent, uh, station there. Now I could have put those two together and spread them but there would have been no reason to. Now you can see how our buses are coming in here, turning around and going back. I'm not 100% convinced that's a good idea. This station is going to get completely reworked in the future so I'm not worried about it. Right, less of that. Let's get our mail trucks. Let's get two of them. Let's get rid of the second one because we'll clone the first one after we've given it orders. So we're going to say go to this central station here and then come over to this station and at this station we want to transfer and do nothing else. And there we go. So that one's all sorted now. We can then hold control and clone it. And by holding control we get shared orders. If we change one vehicle the other one gets done as well and we'll set them both on their way. So that's in one city. Let's just go over to our other of our two big cities here and do something very similar. Now, I, what's this? What's That is townhouses, that is a park, that is flats. Really what I want to do is level that and put in a proper bus station. I wonder if the town will let me. What are my, what are my ratings with the town? I don't want to annoy them too much. Let's have a look. Local authority, outstanding. Whoa! Shouldn't have told me that. So we're going to delete all this and that. And we're going to put in a truck station. 
here next to the bus station and we're going to have a, a whole line of leading in and a whole line of leading out and there we are that's that that's that done now the mail stop should we put it i don't want to put it on the same bus route so i'm thinking here that way they, they come round and that way they might come there still it does supply mail i do want some mail but the town is only going to really expand so let's do it there we are slumway south it's in uh where's our depot there's our depot same as before new vehicle mail truck tell it to go here then tell it to uh transfer there transfer and clone it with the control bam right there we go that's done done and done right we should see a significant increase in the amount of mail that's being transported um if we go to deliver cargo graph oh no it doesn't have a split down by cargo type well that's unfortunate but never mind you can see that our mail vans are coming down this road they're not interfering with the buses the buses are queuing in their own place we can play around with this and make it better in the future uh, we've got no loan to play off fantastic we get our uh, message at the end of the year uh, telling us we've won because we're not playing multiplayer we can just close that and ignore it and you can see that the mail vans have gone down a different road there to drop off and they're using the other side of the road they're, they're rotating in the other direction I don't know whether that is a way I can f I mean can we do waypoints you can't do road waypoints can you we'd have to put another truck stop on the way but uh, and tell it to go non-stop through it I think that's the only way you'd do it um, but we should see an increase in the amount of mail coming in so let's have a look at the minute mail last month was 14 oh that was produced that's the wrong thing let's have a look here yes okay so we're up to 93 on the mail brilliant right so now that that's sorted we can bring up we'll bring our transparency options and put our um, buildings back this um, station needs to be sorted out in the future why is train 10 lost it's going between Punston and Hellishville West there's Hellishville West it's out there now it's trying to go to Punston odds are it went in for yeah it probably was going towards Punston decided it needed a depot came into Dranningville and then couldn't get to Punston because of this junction here I need to sort out the depots on this line um, the depots are not done very well and there's not even any depots at Hellishville West anyway uh, we'll come back to that later though right so our main focus at the moment is this line here um, where we've just actually had a delivery of oil if I remember correctly yeah we've had a delivery of oil from one of our first oil lines and the next trains nearly ready to go it'd be good to get this sorted out now this oil is going to be made into chemicals and petrol I'm just doing a quick recap and then those chemicals are going to go to the paper mill and the paper mill is going to make manufacturing supplies which then we're going to bring down to our fishing market here um, which are going to create even more food so um, yeah production steps up if both cargoes are delivered within one month of each other so we're going to need an input station here for the uh, arrival number of tracks two there we go of the supplies we'll do a standard terminus station i don't foresee many trains coming in here we're doing this purely to satisfy a criteria of delivery within a month so we'll have uh, lots of small short trains that's where we're going to be heading towards and we need to get this um, station up to the paper mill and out again so let's see what we've got around here let's flatten that and we'll just carve the land no wrong way ah oh, I did a dock doing a dock doing a dock in open TTD um, is when you um, change land dramatically uh, when you didn't mean to right we're gonna start with four tracks Yeah, four tracks. Train 29's lost. I think train 29 just did the same thing as the other train previously. What we'll do then is we will allow these trains to cut through here and head out. If that is going to happen again, 
they won't get lost. They'll just cut through this junction and head up there. It's a temporary fix. There we are. Jobs are gone. Do you want to have a quick look at that again? So there you go. Um, if they come up here to use this depot, they can now come out just as this train's doing here. But instead of heading south down there, uh, they can head up towards the bridges because I've just added that extra bit of track. It wasn't needed for standard train flow, but because they kept using this depot, it, I had to put it in. Right, so we've got this new station. Um, like I say, it's going to be just a double standard here. We're not expecting a lot of trains coming through here to begin with. Uh, we will later on, though, and it, it will need to be upgraded. And the odds are is that both of these will actually serve the same thing later on. Now, if we... What sort of money are we running? well over the million mark now fantastic loads of money that's what i like to see so this line we want to connect up to this station uh which for some reason i've put three tracks in oh i know why right let's just um level that land there brilliant because we need to we need to do an entrance and exit thing i think for this oh i didn't mean to do that oh, let's, just press R to toddle and do. Um, I'm expecting a lot of stuff to be coming in and out of this oil refinery, so I made a slightly bigger station. And that should really do what I'm trying to do there. If I peel that back, can I get that like this? Yeah, there we go. There, brilliant. And we'll just put some signals going. Oh, wrong signals. Every time I load open DDD, it resets. There we go. So we've got an in and an out, and the two tracks are roughly going together. So they need to connect up somehow. I'm thinking if we just go straight up the hill, and later when we've got more money than we can shake a stick at, we will um, do some uh, stick shaking and flatten the top of this hill probably. Right now, how much of a... If I take out that top level, that's probably going to make quite a difference. So let's do that. So if we go from here, if I hold, if I press E for the level tool and hold Control, I can level diagonally. It should look something like this. There we go. Let's just fix this end over here. Lovely, and then how close are we here? I think if I just peel that back a little bit, I'd rather just do that. Does that fit? Yes, it does. Fantastic, right, we've got our connections done there, so really I should be able to do signals, and control and drag them all the way to here oh look at that fits perfectly right only thing i really want to do though is just quickly put enough room in for a depot that end and ideally we want a depot here so we want a depot before and a depot after the station for the for row row stations depot before depot after um that will do for that sort of depot right so now we want we can start bringing chemicals we need to train train, new vehicle, main engine, something that can carry chemicals, that's the oil tanker. Now how long are my actual oil trains? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. So I made them, oh I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I made them four long, okay. Quickly go here, full load, uh, but refit to chemicals, refit. Go! Right, I want that train to be in that station before this oil arrives so that this oil refinery starts actually producing chemicals for me. And it got there just in time. Thank goodness for that. Right, we'll get a new train so that there's two of them. Clone them out. Brilliant. Uh, too few orders to schedule. Did I not schedule where it goes to? No, I didn't. Go to here, unload. There we go. Brilliant. Whew, so look, the train's actually loading up with chemicals now, um, which it wouldn't have done if it hadn't have made that trip before the oil, and we are doing pretty good at the oil over there now, actually. Right, so we're going to have some chemicals come into the paper mill, which means manufacturing supplies are going to be made. Um, 
in which case we need to now do this track now before we do before we do pause let's just double check that we are still good everywhere else in the network so over at hellishville what are we doing number of passengers has gone down a little bit um, we had over a thousand passengers delivered not long ago mail look at this mail shut up we've probably roughly tripled the amount of mail we're sending in and we haven't added any more trains we've just done transfers over here in fact if we look at our vehicles and scroll down to our latest ones you can see our mail vans here are actually making us a small profit as well so these even though these vehicles here are all just transferring every single one of my road vehicles transferring people and mail to the train stations nearby it's doing a cracking job right then so that is sorted that's brilliant um so hellishville is still looking good we are on and if i just have a look here it's grown 82 months in a row so we haven't had an interruption since the beginning of our game which is brilliant there um looking here yeah it looks good the next target is food at 2000 so we're still waiting for us to grow to 2000 but i can see that happening quite soon if we're not careful um and where are our food trains seriously we're, oh right so one's making its trip there and one's still on the way back that's not good enough we need another train another food train we need one loading at all times so let's unpause the game clone that train and get it going we need one loading and trips being made constantly to keep a, a steady supply of food coming into hellishville north also we need to increase the size of hellishville north and south and we need to build a hellishville um east as well uh right okay so everything there's good we need to get this railway line down so i'm thinking if we actually just come straight out of here to begin with down the side of this hill to approximately the right height and then because of the landscape it makes it very difficult to do diagonals and i think really we're looking at something around the year mark to get it where we want it and then putting a diagonal in there yeah i think that's gonna have to do right it is it's gonna have to do right where is our railway line there it is let's just make sure that those two pieces meet and there we go brilliant now at this side something similar look at that that's stupid let's get rid of that and get rid of those two as well press the right keys fantastic bam 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 boom there we go right so that lines in um let's just make sure we've got a depot over here i suppose there's no reason to not have a depot there as well and of course a depot there right signals make sure they're the right way around and then control drag and they should be all the way to the end brilliant okay if i can make that a more direct route in the future i will but for now let's get some trains get ready to load stuff so we're going to have chemicals being brought in what we want oh god hang on a second hold that train 32 stuck why uh it's stuck because we don't have signals on our exits here there we go signals on the exits of the stations and i've missed them here as well on a row row you don't need multiple signals going in you have one signal to control that um, but you need a signal on the exit so there we go brilliant so that train's fine uh, what was i doing oh yes we're getting our manufacturing supplies trains going wow we might actually might have some manufacturing supplies before the end of this uh, it's going to be a goods van we'll make it three long nice and short lots of little trains is the idea we have uh, frequent visits of supplies because you the stipulation is that production steps up if two or more cargo types are delivered with within one month of each other um so yeah um i 
Eat. Let's have a look. Um, production. That's the paper mill. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I want to. There we are. This is what we're trying to increase in production. Production steps up if both cargo types are delivered within one month. So we don't need lots of manufacturing supplies. We just need some manufacturing supplies. And then um, loads of fish. Uh, right, so that train is there. So if we say, you go to this station here, full load, and then come all the way down here and unload. That's it, simple as that. We'll clone that out so there's two of them to begin with and set them on their way with the green icon from the um, depot. And because it's a loading station, uh, both trains will go in and load. If we had a third train running, it'd be sat once it once once the system's running. It'll be in the depot to begin with, but once the system is running, it'll be sat here waiting at this red light because both platforms are in use. Um, and then once one train comes out, it will go in while the other one's loading. So it's a it's a nice system to use um, for early game. It's it's simple and it's cheap. Right, now these two trains, I say two because there's one in there loading at the moment and the other one is, I don't know, we've only got one train here. What's the ratings like? 59%, that's not very good. Let's clone that train. There we go. That way we've got two trains running on that route. We've got no trains here. I'm sure we can afford to do that now. Let's see, one platform, number of tracks, one. Fish, we need to get fish, we need to be out that far I'm placing my finger on the screen so I know how far I need to build and that would have to come out to there 291,000 I think that's worth it I think it came out slightly cheaper there we go right we've got another load of fish coming in ideally I want to go across here and I will so we're gonna go like this like that do this here. I'm going to turn a single track into a dual track so we have one train waiting here if we need to. Um, if I bridge across here, yeah, I'm going to run into that plant, but that's fine. I can deal with that. In a second. There we go. We can deal with it like this. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just come straight into this line here. There's no reason why we can't use this line. It's it's already doing what we want it to. What we will do though is just go uh, auto, tool sig auto tool signals remove. Get rid of all these signals around here. Put the junction in and then put the signals back. So entering the junction block, entering the junction block in the junction block. There we go. There we go. And I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll just drag the signals down here. Oh, look at that. Lands perfectly. And exit in the junction block. We don't want signals straight after the exit. Right, perfect. So we go clone train. We're going to clone this train over here. I didn't hold control because I didn't want to share the orders. We're going to go that one, remove the first order, and add a new one, holding control so it's full load. Skip the order, clone the train with control held this time. Hey, are you following this? I don't think I am. We'll let both of them go. One will sit in the depot until the first one's made its move. Right, we've just added a next sandbank. That's um, instead of three lots of fish going in, we've now got four lots of fish going in. Um, once we've got the money, we'll cut that bit off there, get rid of that bridge. How are we doing over here? So we've got oil trains that can't quite keep up with a constant supply. So I'm getting a third one in. Um, these two seem to be going okay. We've got our first train. Is our first train? Yes, because these two have been sat here waiting forever. So we've got our first train of chemicals arriving now at the paper mill. Ideally, we want to get some wood and clay coming in here. Even if it's not much, just a little bit will incre increase production a lot. So let's just have a look here. So as soon as that starts dropping stuff off, I expect there we go. One of our trains is actually uh, filling up, and it fills up 
23% with that drop off. That's not too bad. So, um, it says production sets up if two or more cargo types are delivered. So we don't want three lots. Just clay or wood would do it. So let's centre the map here and have a look round. Now, if, uh, if we have a look, oh no, before we go to map, industry, industry chains, right. Uh, wood. Let's have a look at wood. Wood. Wood comes from a forest and nothing else. I think. Yes, it does. And wool. Was it wool? I think it was wool. Comes from a sheep farm. Was it wool? It was wool. So we want a, for a forest or a sheep farm. So if we go industries and turn town information off. Um, just turn off all the industries and go sheep farm or uh, no it's not temp forest forest right uh, there is a sheep farm nearby so I think we will connect that up like now there it is that's the sheep farm there so that sheep farm will produce uh, wool um, and it will produce and if we can get a little bit of wool over to the paper mill it'll make a big difference so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a new platform in here at the back just for the delivery of wool so number of tracks one that's platform length four station at the moment but I have a funny feeling it's gonna be six in the future so let's do that let's put the platform there at the back and bring a line across this valley we're going to need to find a good place to put a, a station. Uh, this is not good. Let's dig that back, bit, bit back, and that bit forward. So we back a bit, forward a bit, forward a little bit more. Right, there we go. We've got another station in there. This, this is just no good. How much is it going to cost us to sort it out? Let's get rid of that track. Um... How much would it cost us just to raise all of this land? Uh, that's still going down 150. So let's just undo that. Let's come up here. Okay, that would be even. So how much would that cost? 82,000? Oh, we can totally afford that. Okay, it's slightly more expensive than it said it was going to be. Uh, but that's not a problem. And... We've got these here, so ideally, how long have our trains? I've been asked before how to not make trains slow down. Um, the best way to do it is to have only one incline per train length. So what I've done here is I've got one piece of incline and then I've got seven spaces, which allows a six track train to be in there easily. And then we have one incline and then a space for the train, one incline. That way the train is only dealing with one um, inclination at once. So uh, let's just make a little hole here because I want the depot just there. Nowhere else, just there. New vehicles, steam train and what we're pulling, wool. Wool. Well, is going to be in a goods van, is it? Yes, goods van. Let's make this... A really small one and it's going to be a shuttle service in fact let's make it smaller than that let's make it smaller than that there we go we're going to go here we're going to full load on whatever we can and then we're going to go here there we are right let's get our train going last thing we do this episode is get this train going the idea here for this little tiny train is not to make any money or anything like that the idea is is to pick up some wool Bring it over to the text uh, to the paper mill, so that we satisfy this criteria of having two or more cargo types delivered within a month of each other. Hopefully, then we should have a small and steady supply of wool, because we've only got one van. It should go regularly. It, we might need two trains, one crossing each other. So I think a passing place might be in order. Yeah, let's let's put two trains going. So they can go past each other uh, like this. So once we're up there, we'll put a pass in place in. So 
now that's entering the block and uh, we want bi-directional path signals there we are a bi-directional path signal at the end of the passing place should do it and actually they're way too long uh, what we'll do also is clone that train so there is two of them and ooh I don't think I've done it right. No, I haven't, because that train's going to stop there. What we'll do is we'll do it a slightly different way. Let's remove that one and that one and that one. Put... Hopefully it should register that signal I put in. Thank goodness for that. That should do it. Yep, that'll do it. That'll allow those two trains to pass each other. Um, I've never built that sort of pass in place before, but also if the trains get a little bit longer, we can account for that. Why is this not producing anything? It requires farm supplies. Really? Does it not... Is it not? Oh, hang on. I didn't refit these for wool. That's the problem. I had this the other episode. Right, speed up. Come on, we need to get you in. Right, you. Wool. How many of you there were screaming at the screen? It's not wool. You set it for goods or whatever it was. If you, uh, if you were screaming at the screen, hash comment with uh, hashtag screaming. There we go. So now we should be picking up wool. Let's have a look. Yes, 8%. Brilliant. Okay. So we've got a wool shuttle service coming into the mill. Um, we've got one of our trains already up to 47% on... Um, oh, you're kidding me. They're goods vans. I've done it here as well. Oh, how terrible is that? <sighs> Refit. Uh, it's manufacturing supplies, isn't it? Yep. Oh. All this time that those trains have been there and the paper mill has been accepting chemicals, we haven't had the right trains there. Everything else is working fine. But that is actually the supply of manufacturing supplies done. We can improve it, we can expand it, but the basic system's in there. We've got oil being turned into chemicals, chemicals being turned into manufacturing supplies, and manufacturing supplies being brought to the fishing market eventually. It looks like we need to increase production on the food tra uh, trains. So there's another food train coming in. Um, and I think it's these two trains coming from this sand bank which has helped. Also, we need to connect these sandbags up by train. Uh, these boats, not doing very well. They're slow, they're costly, and they're not doing a good job. But that is for another time. Let's just quickly check in on Hellishville. Uh, it hasn't grown a massive amount this episode. Um, and it has grown 97 months in a row, so we're getting there. I think by the time we require food, we will be perfectly fine. Well, uh, that brings us to the end of the episode, and it also quite nicely brings us to the year of 1949. There it is, 1949. So next year, 1950, I want to be able to present to you guys your versions of the map so far. So what you need to do is, um, if you've already got to that point, uh, get your 1950 save, remember to save your game every five years in a different new save. Get your save of 1950 if you're playing along, put it on a place like Dropbox or Google Drive, and then go to my Facebook page and contact me on there with the link and a little bit explaining about you and how you're getting on in the map so far. Next episode, um, we will get some of your submissions and we'll take a look at them, compare them with each other, talk about good and bad points where things can be improved and where things are doing really well, and also compare them to how well I'm doing. Let's see how well you guys are doing in 1950. 
I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching. If you've got any thoughts, ideas, or questions, pop them down in the comments as always, and I will see you next time. For now, goodbye.